Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario. So one screen to the right is the uh, Dry Dry Outpost, but I'm gonna head a couple screens to the south, and we'll see why here in a little bit. Uh, let's just avoid all these guys, they're, <laughs> they're real pains, and that was really close. So as you can see, when we get down here further to the south, the grass kind of starts to turn... Well, well, there's grass. I mean, like, what? what's up with that? So this is actually a desert oasis. It's a pretty cool little place. We can't, like, drink from the water or anything, but there's a nice little heel block over there for us, which is good. Uh, turns out we didn't need it because we just leveled up, so, <laughs> well, there you go. 232 coins, well, that's pretty nice. Alright, so if we, uh, check the tree over here, this fruit's gonna drop out, this is a lemon. And we're gonna be using that for something special in a little bit. So let's, uh, eesh, let's just get rid of the mushroom. <laughs> that's the most useless thing I have at the moment. And actually, if we come down here, uh, where's, there it is. There's this block here, we haven't seen any of these yet. This is a super block. With this, you can upgrade one of your party members. The member you upgrade will gain attack power, and will also master a new ability. So we can pick which one of our party members we want to upgrade. Uh, first off, I always go with Bombette, because she'll master Power Bomb to attack all on-ground enemies, and that's really useful, so I'm definitely going to be going for that first. So we say yes that we want to upgrade, and then the uh, Super Block just kind of takes over. And with that, Bombette is upgraded to Super Rank. All right. And uh, now we can see uh, she's got a little blue dot by her name, and she also now has the Power Bomb ability, which requires 6 FP, which is a lot, but uh, worth it, in my opinion. Alright, so I'm pretty sure that's all that we need to do around here, uh, so let's just head back up, and now we're finally going to head into Dry Dry Outpost. So let's just go back to the north here. And there we go. This is the path, so let's head back into the east and into the town. So this is Dry Dry Outpost, this is a pretty cool place. Uh, Master Mustafa is the main man, yeah, Master Mustafa is the main man, ooh. Where's the man? No one knows, he stays hidden from his foes. Okay, you're kind of weird, why are you singing? Alright, there's a nomad mouse here. Welcome travelers, you must have had a long, hot journey getting here. Welcome to Dry Dry Outpost. Mustafa is the leader of this entire town, so you'd better keep it in mind. Although you probably won't ever see him. Hmm. And now this guy back here, I was actually looking for this guy in Koopa Village. This is always like, oh, he's not here. And you might have thought I was crazy, but this is who I was looking for. Quiz! Chuck Quizmo's the name, and quizzes are my game. You want quizzes? I got them. If you can manage to answer my brain-busting questions correctly, then... Yahoo! I'll give you a star piece. Want to try a quiz? Sure, let's try a quiz. I don't know, like, a lot of these can be a little bit obscure, and I don't really remember them off the top of my head. This might be embarrassing. Alright, question. What is the name of Goombarios? Oh, crap. Uh, it's not Goombalina. Goombet, maybe? Ah, oh, it was Goombario. I should have known, because he's Goombario, and that was Goombaria. See, I mean, that's how much I pay attention to characters in this game. Oh, well, I got it wrong. Anyway, if you get it right, he'll give you a star piece, which I should have gotten that. That was kind of stupid, but, uh, whatever. I don't, I don't pay attention to small details like that, really. There's a few houses around here that are pretty much useless. Hey, guess what? Hey, somewhere in the desert there's a stone cactus. If you move three south and two west from there, we found something special hidden. Not sure how to find it exactly, however, you should go there. Yeah, you're a little bit useless. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's not useful enough for me to go get it. Alright, what's this? We got a purple Nomad Mouse coming out of the store. Uh, it turns out that's actually the shopkeeper, I believe. Let's head in there. Temporarily closed. Okay, I guess we can't head in there. So let's head off to the the right and see what all that was about. I was going to talk to some of those people, but whatever. We've learned enough, I guess. Brother and sister who are very close up top Shooting Star Summit. Uh, that's a that's a ways away from here, dude. How do you know about that? All right. Uh, what do you got to say? Hey, hello. I'm assisting an archaeologist, Professor Colorado. I'm going to try to try a re uh, desert to excavate the ruins. But it's hot as blazes every day, and I'm constantly thirsty. I want to quit and go home. <laughs> eh, wimp. Come on, it's not that bad here. What do you got to say? Long ago in this very land, there's a kingdom called Dry Dry Kingdom. King Mousta ruled over it. One dark day, he was betrayed by his subjects in the uprising that followed. Dry Dry Kingdom was ruined. Dry Dry Ruins, maybe? He escaped and vowed vengeance on his enemies. He gathered those faithful to him and defeated his betrayers. His supporters were the original robbers who built Dry Dry Outpost. Interesting. Little history lesson there. Uh, there's a toad house in here if we want to uh, head in there and get some rest. Uh, looks pretty nice in here, so, but we don't need it right now. We're fully recovered as it is. So anyway, there's the shopkeep, and he was talking to this guy, so let's see what he's got to say. Someone who gives things is nice. Yes, very nice. Nice guys gets told nice stuff. So, yeah, let's give him something. Might as well. This is actually what we got the lemon for. Uh, if you if you try to do this, like, normally, he, you would have to give him, like, three things, and then ask him about his favorite food. 
and he'd basically tell you it's a lemon. But if you just go ahead and give him the lemon, you can uh, see you can ask his favorite food. Uh, that's what you would normally have to ask. But with since we've given him the lemon, the lemon, this how to see Malstafa uh, option has come up. So to find Mr. Malstafa, go to the shop in this room. For, in this town, rather. First buy a dried shroom, then buy a dusty hammer. You must buy them in the correct order. Yes, remember, dried shroom first, and then dusty hammer. This is a secret sign known to those loyal to Malstafa. If you buy these things in the correct order, the owner of the shop will let you see them. Remember, you must not buy them in the incorrect order. So let's acknowledge, yeah, that's enough. Well, goodbye. I wish you luck in finding Mr. Malstafa, nice guy. Well, thank you. So, now that we know the secret to finding the town's leader, we should probably do that, and, uh, coincidentally enough, the store just opened back up, so... Let's head in here, and he said we needed to buy a dried shroom. So let's buy it. Followed by a dusty hammer. Carrying a full load. Oh, are you kidding me? Can I just sell back the dried shroom? Like, will that still work? <laughs> uh, no. Alright. Hey, it still worked! There we go! What ho Buying a dusty hammer after a dried shroom! It's a secret sign that only friends of Mr. Mustafa know. That means you're with Mustafa. Hey, brother, good to meet you. Have any questions you need answered? Yeah, how do we see the guy? You want to see Mr. Mustafa? <laughs> Boy, you read my mind. He's usually up on the highest part of Dry Dry Outpost. Just keep going up, my man. So there we go. Basically, we can't go see the guy, even if you know how to do it, until we buy these things and uh, get this code. You can also uh, buy them in this order. Uh, without ever learning about it, you could basically just come into the store, uh, like, right off the bat, and, you know, do it that way if you want. But I figured we might as well just do things the correct way, right? So there's also one more thing that I didn't show. If we look in the little alley back there to the left, you kind of see that little purple thing that's bouncing up and down? It might be kind of hard to see. But turns out if we actually go back here, we can jump over these boxes and get to a little secret area back here. Let's talk to this guy. Keep this quiet. If this woman casts a spell on you, it might help you during battle. For instance, your attack power might get stronger, you might get more coins. Other stranger things may happen as well, but do not rely on the spell. By no means will it take effect in every battle. It can be beneficial, but it's also unpredictable. So that's this chick right here. Hello, welcome. How are you? Feeling jolly, feeling blue? I'm Merly, you see? That's me, a cuter gal you'll never see. I do magic, but not for free. Your luck has steered you well, for I'm a master of the spell. When my spell upon you glows, you might get lucky, but who knows? Do you dare to take the chance? Want to watch my cards dance? Yeah, sure, why not? Oh, how lovely. Very good. Pick just one now. If you would, I'd pay as much as I could. So we can get either the petite course, the ordinary course, or the special course. Let's get the special course. We got plenty of coins. Oh, well, we're ready. Tally-ho, and here we go. So with that, we're having this little special spell cast on us. It's a pretty cool little animation. And as the mouse guy said, this is going to help us out kind of sporadically in battles. It doesn't take effect that often. Uh, but it's, it's, when it does, it can be pretty useful. It'll, like, double your attack power, or, you know, half the damage you take, double your experience, double your coins. And it can do a whole bunch of things that are useful. So anyway, we come over to the right now that we've learned the code, and this green guy's gone, so we can get to this door behind him. And we can jump up these boxes, because we remember the shopkeep said that you just need to keep going up, so let's keep going up. We can now make our way across the roofs, pick up another letter. Uh, I didn't see who that was to, but I don't really care. I'm not going to be bothering with the letters much at all. Uh, pretty much the only rewards you ever get from them are star pieces. I didn't need to use Paracarry there, I don't know what I was thinking. But, you know, the rewards just really aren't worth it. Hey, nice guy, we meet again. I'm glad you found me. Hey, what, it's that guy. Oh, don't tell me this guy ended up being Malstafa all along. Oh, yep, I'm Malstafa. I'm the one you've been seeking all this time. When I'm out and about in Dry Dry Outpost, I use the name Sheik. It's always good to meet a genuinely nice guy. I meet people all the time, but you are by far the nicest guy I've met so far. Your name is Mario. Yes, I've heard that you want to go to the Dry Dry Ruins. That's correct. I have a feeling you're on an important journey, so I'll tell you the secret. Dry Dry Ruins is a very important place. My ancestors have watched over it for many generations. If I do not keep evil folk out of the ruins, who will? You must promise me that you will tell no one the secret. Alright, I'll keep it a secret from everyone. I'll give you this. So we get the Pulse Stone. The closer you get to Dry Dry Ruins, the faster it flashes. And that's basically the key to finding Dry Dry Ruins, as he just said. Uh, so we take it to the desert, and it'll flash above your head as you get close to the ruins. The closer you get to the ruins, the faster the Pulse Stone will flash. Follow where it leads you. Find the place where the Pulse Stone flashes the fastest, and use it to open the way. So with that, we're pretty much free to go to the ruins now. Uh, so I guess I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Might as well, I suppose. Uh, we're fully healed up and everything. We just leveled up, so it's nice we're on a fresh new level here. 
And now basically all we have to do is actually find uh, the ruins. So if I'm remembering correctly, I think that letter we picked up was to the Traveling Nomad Mouse, uh, which is actually the, the guy that we passed on the way here. So I'm going to go ahead and head back and give this guy his letter real quick. Go southeast from here. Yeah, we know. You already told us. Traveling the Mountain Mouse, correct? The name's Paracara. I deliver letters. I believe I have one for you, so let's give it to this guy. Another letter duly delivered. Letter to me from Alstafa. For the name, but I can't remember who he is. Anyway, thank you for delivering it. I'm surprised you found me way out here. It's extremely hot traveling in the desert, so take care. Oh yeah, take this. So with that, we get another star piece, and that is our... Uh, where is it? There's eighth. That's our eighth star piece. So cool, we're making some pretty good progress on that as well. Um... Just to clarify, for those of you who are like just joining in, I'm not going to be getting all of those, uh, just so you know. But anyway, in the next part, we're going to search for the Tri-Dry Ruins. Till then, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.